Christmas bells ring, ring Swing in my shopping bag, sing in Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to share with you some things that I recently purchased. In one of the shops there was a 20% discount on All Beauty. That's at Smith & Coe's in Auckland here in New Zealand and they specialise in more luxury items. And I also picked up some makeup and a couple of other items from Mecca Beauty here in New Zealand as well. Both I ordered online. The ones from Smith & Coe took a little while to get here. Have only just recently reopened to the public because of a lockdown that was going on in Auckland. So they had a huge amount of orders. So it did take about three weeks to get to me. But I got them a couple of days ago and I'm dying to use some of them. So I thought I would sit down and do this video so I can try some of them out. So we'll start off with what I got from Mecca. And the first thing that I picked up was an eye cream. This is a repurchase. This is the Tatcha Ageless Revitalizing Eye Cream. It comes in this packaging. I will open it up because I've completely run out of the other one and I want to use this tonight. Now Tatcha does have really beautiful packaging. It always comes really beautifully presented and there is always a little leaflet inside as well. And inside is the cream. So I'll open it up and show you. This cream is just gorgeous. I love it. It is quite thick but in saying that it's not greasy either it's not one that i use under my eyes in the mornings but it is a really beautiful moisturizer for in the evenings so it has a seal on top i'm just going to place that down because it has got some product on it and i'll just show you what it's like so it is quite thick i'll just see if you can see that so it is quite thick and even if i put it upside down it wouldn't come out <laughs> it is quite thick but it is just really beautiful I really enjoy this when I picked up my first one of this a few months ago I knew after about a week or two of using it that I would repurchase it I will be trying out a couple of other eye creams as well but until I make up my mind which ones to try I'm still looking at La Mer and I'm also looking at a La Prairie one as well I thought I would pick this up in the meantime it's a really beautiful moisturizer and the next thing from Mecca was a backup this is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and it is dance floor princess now I know this has been around a long time but I only tried it for the first time probably about six or eight weeks ago and I love it so much that I know it's one that I'm going to reach for just with my usual day-to-day -day makeup so I'm actually wearing it today it is definitely one that I reached for and I just wanted to buy a backup because some of the things from Charlotte Tilbury can run out from time to time and I didn't want to leave it till I had used up that lipstick and I couldn't get my hands on another one. And then I decided to pick up, I saw on the Mecca website, it's from Laura Mercier, it's the first ball cheek palette and I hadn't purchased anything of Laura Mercier for quite a while. I really like her lipsticks and I used to use her loose powder. That's until I discovered the Sicily loose powder and the Chanel one and I haven't really reached for it since but I do really love her lipsticks and I did like the look of this cheek palette. So I'll open it up so we can take a look and I'll do a try on of this in a video fairly soon. I'm pretty sure this is a holiday edition palette. It has really really beautiful packaging and does feel quite weighty so I'm not going to swatch any of these but I'll show you inside the palette and I'll do a video on it fairly soon so there's the two highlighters at the top and the three blushes down below I think the colors look really really beautiful so I'm really looking forward to trying that out and as I said I'll do a video on it probably later this week and next I picked up another Chantecaille Blurring Powder. You've seen in my other videos that this is the one I normally use. It's in the colour Light Medium. But I saw Liz from Chicago Law Luxury Makeup 
use this perfect blur finishing powder in the darker shade in the shade it's medium deep to use as a bronzer and I thought it looked really really beautiful and we do have similar skin tones Liz and I so I thought I would pick this up this is in different packaging to the flower power one this is now their permanent line this blurring powder and this is the packaging that it comes in and I'll just take the plastic cover off and here is the color so it's not really really deep it's more of a lighter sort of bronze for me but I still think it'll look really really beautiful and because it gives that beautiful blurring effect on the skin I just thought it'd be a really nice addition to have with my other bronzers and the last item that I picked up from Mecca is the Baccarat Rouge 540 and it is the candle and here is the packaging now I really wanted the perfume and I wasn't too sure and it is fairly pricey so I had it in my shopping cart and I was looking at it back and forth and wasn't sure I had it in there for a couple of weeks and then when I finally decided yes I will buy the perfume it had sold out and there's no more available here in New Zealand but I did see that there was a candle with the same scent so I thought I would pick this up and if I really love the scent then when it's back in stock I will definitely be picking up the perfume so I'm just taking it out of its box and inside has a little leaflet all about it so what this card says it talks about the craftsmanship that went into the candle jar it says it had two successive firing stages one at 1800 Fahrenheit for six hours during which the material was transformed into a bisque followed by another 2550 Fahrenheit for eight hours to make it permanently non-porous and give the inner white hand-painted color its full radiance and then it also says it has a mineral vegetal wax of French origin which was selected in which a braided cotton wick was dipped to guarantee the candle's fragrance with an optimal burning time estimated at about 55 hours. Now just on top of the packaging was a lid and then the candle is inside and this is what she looks like and the smell is really really beautiful you can smell florals in there and then also it's a hint of not a hint but maybe underline it is some type of woody notes as well it smells really really beautiful so I'll probably light this up this week I'm putting up all my Christmas decorations this week just finishing getting the lounge re-wallpapered and our bedroom as well so now I'll be able to put up the Christmas tree so I think I will burn some of this once I've set up all the decorations I think it'll be a really beautiful smell in the lounge but it is really really stunning packaging I think it is gorgeous and I just love the scent and I think it's going to be really beautiful once I've lit it just really really gorgeous so next we'll go through what I picked up from Smith and Coe's some of the items came in this bag here now the first thing I got because it's on special and that is the Sicily triple oil balm makeup remover and cleanser this is a backup because I already have one and I'm using it at the moment and it is really really beautiful I love it how it just sort of mounts into the skin it gets rid of the makeup really easily it is fragrance but I think the fragrance is really really beautiful and once you've emulsified it and washed that off before I put on a cleanser there isn't any thick layer left that can be with some balms and some cleansing oils it is just really really beautiful and I thought with 20% off it would be a great time to get a backup so I'm not going to open it up but that is the outside of it Sicily always has really beautiful packaging 
And next I picked up a Lumiere product. It's called the Bronzing Powder. So I'll be using this fairly soon. So I will open this up so we can take a look. There is the outside packaging of it. It still has the plastic on the outside. So we'll take that off. It is really beautiful packaging. I have the Lumiere one of their foundations and I think it is really, really beautiful. I tried it the other day to see how it would wear in the more warmer weather here and it was really beautiful and lasted, I think I wore the foundation about eight hours and it definitely lasted throughout that time. So I thought I would pick up one of their bronzers. The inside with the colours reminded me of Neapolitan ice cream, the one with the layers. It's got chocolate and strawberry and vanilla in it. And I think that these colours all blended together and put on the skin are going to give a really, really beautiful look. I just thought it looked like a really nice bronzing powder and I'm really excited to try it out to see what it looks like. And then they've also put in here a Lumiere, it is the moisturising cream. I didn't buy this, this is just a small sample. It has 7 mils of product, but it'll be enough for me to decide whether I like it or not. I have tried the Lumiere eye cream and I thought it was really, really beautiful. So I think from this pot, it will probably last me at least a week, if not two weeks, maybe even more. It really depends how much I need to use. And since the sale was on there, I decided this was a good time to pick up a backup of a Tom Ford cheek color because I've heard that they are discontinuing this. And this is in the color Ravish. I've used it before in other videos. I think it's really, really beautiful. So I'm not going to unpackage this, but I'm thrilled that I was able to get it back up. And I'm gonna place that in my blush drawer. And when the other one, I don't know whether I'll ever hit pan on it, but it might get to the stage where it's probably not that great to use anymore. Then I've got this back up. It's such a beautiful color. And it is one that I reach for quite a lot. And then the other Tom Ford item that I picked up is the eyeshadow blend brush. So we'll take this out of the packet and take a look. I have the Tom Ford bronzing brush and I think it is really, really beautiful. It applies product really beautifully and it also washes really well too. So it comes wrapped like that. I'll take it out of its wrapper because I'll probably use it tomorrow when I'm putting on my makeup. So it's got on there that this is brush number 13. And I really like the size of the brush. I've got a couple of others sort of similar shape and I find them really good for my hooded eyes. I find that they're really good for placing product in the crease and then also blending upwards towards the brow bone as well. So I'll give this a try out tomorrow and I'll also use it in one of my upcoming videos. And then I decided to pick up a Tom Ford fragrance. I think this is called Ombre Leather. I've got it all really beautifully packaged, but I'll open it up so I can take a look. Now, I got this in a travel size because I wasn't sure whether I will like it or not. From reading what it was supposed to smell like, I thought it would be really, really beautiful, but you just sort of never know. The Tom Ford fragrance that I have purchased just recently, it's called Costa Azura, I think it is, and that is really, really lovely. This one is going to be more of an earthy type of leather scent with some other scents mixed in as well. So here is the outside packaging and I will open it up and I'll spray some on my arm to see what it's like. So here is what the outside packaging looks like. It's like a um, matte black and I've sprayed some on my arm and it smells like a really good furniture shop <laughs> when you walk in it's the best way I could describe it it smells really really nice you can definitely smell the leather in there 
but there's also a little bit of jasmine as well and there's also cardamom in there too it's definitely very sort of woody and spicy and it's just a really interesting mix it's probably more towards a masculine scent than a feminine one but I think it's really really beautiful but when I first put it on I thought it's like when you just walk into a really beautiful furniture shop that was the first sort of smell that I got it's really really lovely and then last but not least I picked up another Joe Malone candle I picked up one earlier this year and it is really really gorgeous so I think this one is called Bitter Orange I've really become obsessed with buying really good candles just recently I picked up some diptyque ones I've also bought some nest candles and one of the nest candles is the one that's burning behind me it's the holiday one and it just smells really really gorgeous I also picked up four candles from All Things Luxury Beauty that is Just Glow Firefly and Alexi John and each of those women have their own YouTube luxury beauty channels and they also have the website All Things Luxury Beauty so I ordered all four candles it was a really cheap shipping rate to get them from America to New Zealand and I also received them within a week of purchasing them as well and they are just really really beautiful so here is the packaging that the candle comes in it's always really really lovely and this is how it looks inside the box and here is the candle itself Jo Malone always has really beautiful packaging for her candles has a really gorgeous lid on it as well that I'll be able to place it underneath when I eventually get round to lighting the candle and it's such a beautiful jar that I will probably reuse this and place some brushes in it or something like that I often do that with jars from candles that I really really like or ones that look quite decorative and this one looks really really beautiful so I'm looking forward to trying this one out but I probably won't be trying this one out for a little while I'm sort of into more of the holiday Christmas type candles at the moment but definitely in the new year I will light this up and see what it's like and I think that was the last item that I got so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye Christmas bells ring